Have you ever needed to print a large Excel data sheet and had trouble getting the formatting just right? In this quick tip, we will learn everything from making row and column headings appear on every page, to choosing your own page breaks, to adding a title and page numbers, all for printing. Before doing anything in regards to printing a worksheet, it's always best to set your print area first. If I were to zoom out with the zoom slider, I'd see an area that I don't want printed. I only want to print this data here. So let's zoom back in to 40% and highlight all the data we want Excel to print. Then go to the Page Layout tab under the Page Setup section and click Print Area, and then set Print Area. Now just this area of our spreadsheet will be printed. Let's zoom back in. To lock our headings for printing, in the same Page Setup section click on Print Titles. We're looking at these two boxes here, rows to repeat at top and columns to repeat at left. Simply click the rows box and drag click the first two rows to represent the entire row heading. And then select the columns box and click anywhere in the column heading. Let's preview this data. Simply click the print preview button here. Now you can click through the various pages and see that our column and row headings stay fixed, allowing us to see what data is being represented. Notice how all our data is on 10 pages. If we want to reduce this document to a four page limit, we can. Click this link to the page setup window, then click on fit to two pages wide by two pages tall, total four pages. And let's also change the orientation to landscape. Click OK. Our data looks good. We could end here, but let's fine tune it so that the quarter one 2005 column starts on this page. Go to the View tab under the Workbooks View section and click Page Break Preview. Zoom out just like before and adjust these breaks exactly where you want them. Finally, let's go to the Page Layout View and get the scaling just right and add a title. This time, let's zoom out by clicking 100% here and then selecting 25%. We can see our four pages and a bit of space here. Let's close this gap by going to the Page Layout tab under the Scale to Fit section and scale it up. We don't want to go too far, so let's back off just a tiny bit and our document looks fantastic. Let's zoom back in and give it a title. And if we click the Design tab, we can go to Footer and give our document page numbers. Feel free to explore the rest of these. To get back to the normal view, Click on the View tab once more and select Normal. Now we're ready to print. This time let's use the shortcut and press Ctrl P for print, which takes us back to the same print preview window. Now you know how to prepare a large Excel spreadsheet and get the formatting just right for printing.